Well, it's a very busy foodie Friday here at the station, and Kelly is standing by live in the KSBY kitchen with more Foodie Friday. Good morning. Good morning, Richard. Yes, it is busy. I double booked our Foodie Friday guest this morning, so we had some people waiting for us, being very patient. This is Judy Hi. with the Black Tie Brewing Company. You know, earlier we had hummus, and now we have this bubbly tea so we can wash down our hummus, That's right? right? That's right. <laughs> so, Judy, talk to me a little bit about this is a healthy alternative to soda. That's correct. Why? Because it has less sugar than soda. It has about 17 milligrams of sugar and it has just a, a small amount of caffeine between 12 and 17 milligrams depending on the flavor. Okay. And, and it's sparkling tea so it's very refreshing without as much sugar. And you know a lot of people are very health conscious. I'm a nurse and I have lupus, and I really want something that doesn't have quite as much sugar in it, so that's how we created this product. On an average, a, co a can of Coke, how much sugar? About 33 grams. Okay, so, and this has, again? And up, this has 17 grams. So about half. Yes. All right, and you're San Luis Obispo based. We are, yeah, we're local. So where does someone get this sparkling tea? Right now we have our teas in Brosh, the sandwich shop on Marsh downtown, okay. and also in the rib line. Wow, and talk to me a little bit about how did you get started? How long has it been on the market? Uh, it's been on the market only for about a month. Oh, wow, uh, okay. Been, we started out as a craft brewing company, and my husband's been brewing beer for about the past, well, about 10 years, I guess, and six years with uh, fresh fruit involved. Oh. So we decided it was going to cost a lot to try to get that up and running, so we wanted to have a different um, product to bring to the market. So. We came up with the teas. And so what exactly is in it? It's just tea. So it's it's there's carbonation in the tea, it. but it's blended with fresh fruits, papaya, a ma mangoes, guava, pineapple, tropical mm. fruits. Wow, that's really good. Yes. So this one was This is amazing mango. Amazing mango. This one is guava berry and that one is peachy mango. And there's a blend of fruits in each one, but the, we brew it with fresh fruit. So when you say you brew it, are you doing it the same way that you would make Very beer? Very similar, yes. Okay. Very interesting. I don't want to go into the details. Okay, oh, it's a secret. <laughs> Big <a> secret. secret. <laughs> You've got your brewmaster over there, that's right? right. The that's right. That's the brewmaster. <laughs> and then we also made a cake for you today. Oh, that's really sweet of you. We made a cake with the tea, and it has the fresh fruit on top, just as we use in the tea. Oh my gosh, Richard. <laughs> we were just talking about cake and the Atascadero's new anniversary. All morning long. Your there's, wish there's came true. <laughs> <laughs> See, all I have to do is talk about cake every morning and then maybe somebody will bring one. Oh, all yes. of them. It's yes, fantastic. thank you so much, Judy. We appreciate <laughs> it. And um, I'll bring you in a tasting of this tea in a bit. Richard? All right, perfect. Thank you so much. And uh, as always, for more health-related stories, you can visit the Healthy Living section of KSBY.com. Time right now is 648. Cal Poly Football.